Here is the microbit plant indicator and basically it tells you whether or not the plant needs watering. Now there's loads and loads of uh, similar projects to this and I've also seen one on YouTube which self waters. Um, this one's just to get you started on how to use the Protopic plant moisturizer sensor. As you can see I've watered the plant, the soil's fairly wet and the micro bit is indicating that uh, the plant is happy. So we'll put the battery back on. There we go, plant is fairly happy. Now if I take this out, obviously it loses the connection, it all falls to bits, but as you can see now, the plant is sad. So what this would mean is if the soil had um, dried up, obviously we wouldn't be getting a connection between these two ends here, and therefore it would indicate that the plant needed watering. Let's have a look at how we set this up. So first of all, you're going to need a moisture sensor. Um, this is the Proto Pick moisture sensor, and um, quite nice because it's plant shaped. There are other ones available. Um, this is the this is the one that I got access to. You're then going to need a micro bit. You're then going to need a power supply. So you can use your normal batteries or um, or use a USB battery. And you're going to need three crocodile clips. Now the colour doesn't matter, um, but I'm using green for the data or signal line. I'm going to use black for the ground and I'm going to use red for the three volts or VCC, but the colours don't matter. What you're going to need to do then is take your uh, moisture sensor and look at the back of this one and you can see there's ground, signal and VCC, which is the, the three volts on, on this one. So what I'm going to do is use the red crocodile clip for the VCC. I'm just going to clip that onto there. Now remember you want it to bite the metal bit, so ensure that it is making contact with the uh, with the metal. Uh, the ground pin, I'm going to use black and I'm going to connect that. Same way, again make sure it's biting and clamping the, uh, the metal. And the final one is for the moisture sensor, for the signal, and I'm going to use green for this. And that is going to go like that. Okay, so we've got ground, signal, and the VCC, which is the, the three volts. Now yours might be slightly different. You might only have two, um, but obviously you can use, um, you might just have uh, VCC and ground. You might have signal and ground. Um, obviously depending on the setup, but in this one, this is what we're doing. Now we're going to move to the micro bit and hook this up. So ground obviously is here. So I'm going to take the black crocodile clip and again bite it onto there. The red is the VCC, which is the three volts. Bite it there. And finally, the green is um, the signal. And on this example, I'm going to use zero, pin zero. You can use pin one, pin two. Um, doesn't really matter as long as in your code you remember which pin you've used. So I'm going to use pin zero. And we are connected up. Um, obviously, take your power supply. Either pop it in there or use the batteries. But we need to program this first in order to get it to work. So let's head over and have a look at the code and um, get this uh, get this reading. Let's have a look then at how to set up the code for our water or plant moisture sensor. I'm going to use the make code website here and I'm going to use the blocks. So the first thing I need to do is to take a reading from the signal pin and uh, I'm going to scroll down to here to pins 
and I'm going to use this one, digital read pin 0. Now you remember when we connected this, um, I connected it to the 0 pin, which is this one here. I did say you could use the other two, obviously if you've used pin 1 or pin 2, then click in here and change this to pin 1 or pin 2. Uh, if you followed the step before though, then you are using uh, pin 0. The next thing we need to do then is to check whether or not that um, this has taken a, a reading and whether or not there's moisture or no moisture. So to do this we are going to use a logic statement and I'm going to drag this into here and if the um, pin reading is 1 then that means that a connection has been made and there is moisture in the plant or in, in the um, the tub or the bowl, the, I can't remember what they're called now, the pot that the plant is sat in. So I'm going to basically check here, is the digital pin reading 1? Because if it is, then I want it to do something. So I'm now going to go up to um, logic again. I'm going to use an if statement, drag this in there. And if it is 1, that means the plant is happy and uh, I'm going to add the icon of the smiley face. Click here on the plus. This gives me the else and this is, means if it's not one, in other words if it's um, zero, that means the um, connection between the two um, probes isn't meeting or isn't, isn't connected because there's no moisture in the water and therefore it's dry. So I'm going to put a sad face. I want this to repeat forever so I'm going to go up to the basics and I'm going to go forever. So let's have a quick look through the code. Forever, in other words do this forever. Keep checking that the digital read pin on zero here is equal to one and if it is then show a happy face. If it isn't then show the sad face. Um, you'll need to connect your micro bit and then we're going to go to download and then head over to your download folder and in here you're going to find the program code I haven't named mine but you can name it down here in fact let's do that let's call it water me save that download it back to the downloads folder there it is, micro bit water me, and then what you want to do is drag it down to your micro bit so that it writes to the micro bit. Right, let's look at it in action then. Let's test this out then. Uh, here's my plant pot, and uh, I'm going to connect up the micro bit, power it up. Now the sensor at the moment is not in the plant, so therefore it's sad because obviously it's not uh, picking up anything. So what we're going to do now is stick the sensor into the plant. Oh, <laughs> going to throw it out the plant into the plant, and uh, oh, I think you'll see that the uh, red crocodile clips come off there. There we go. And obviously freshly watered plant, the moisture sensor is picking up the connection between the two and you can see there it's a smiley face. Unfortunately it's been raining here today so I haven't got any dry plants to test this out on. Um, but obviously you can, we can emulate it by taking it out and we're back to the sad face, happy face. Right, thanks very much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want me to build some other hacks with the micro bit or Raspberry Pi, simply um, drop me a line in the comments and um, create some stuff. Thanks very much for watching.